Was you watching that, Tyler? Was you thinking, man, the Texans are far off from these guys? No, not at all. Which is weird. If you if you take the Ravens game out of your head, like if you just take that yeah. game out of your head, yeah, that ass woman, right? Like if you take, like you've watched the Texans, and when you watch that game. I'm with you. I, I didn't get a feel that was like, well, the Texans can't play with these teams. Well, they're close. They they could be close, unless you unless you disagree. I, no, I just, no, no, I, didn't I, get that. I wholeheartedly yeah. agree. I, look, I, I, as I'm watching that that game, um, I, I feel like the Texans aren't far away. I, I feel like the Texans are are are. I mean, right there in the mix. Um, a lot closer than I gave them credit. To be honest with you, when they lost to to your point, when they lost to Baltimore. That, that was a bad feeling for me right there as a Texans fan. Um, that, but that as I really bad in that game, really yeah. bad. But as I watched the the playoffs, you know, uh, finish out with them with the NFC and AFC championship game, and obviously the Super Bowl last night, I feel really good about where the Texans are. Um, clearly ahead of schedule, they've clearly found their head coach and their quarterback. Um, and now the other thing that is as clear, if not more clear, than than where the Texans are right now and kind of kind of where, where they've established themselves in the NFL. The only thing that's that's more clear, they need them superstars, Ron. Yeah. They need them yeah. superstars, man. Um look that that this let this weekend and the AFC and NFC championship game, but but this weekend in particular, I'm sitting there watching it through my Texans lens, and I'm and I'm watching. I want to see if there were some players that stood out to you in yesterday's game. If we're thinking the same way through for the Texans, well, I mean, look, I, I'm I'm watching Christian McCaffrey run the rock. Um, clearly, don't in have the, one of those in the first half. I'm watching. <laughs> you made the pair clear. I'm watching Armstead in in the middle. That's it. Um. Just, just be an absolute problem and, and change the game. Um, obviously, Bosa off the end. I mean, that's another guy that that uh, any way you look at it, that dude's a problem. Um, and then you look at Kansas City, and, and although Travis Kelsey had a quiet first half, um, just absolutely exploded when they needed it the most. And you could tell it was a different, it was a different intensity and a different get me the damn ball and get out of the yeah, way late he, in that ball after game. After he took out Andy Reid, yeah, it was. <laughs> I that was uh, by the way, that was that was bull for yeah, him. Yeah. And he's getting away with it because he's Travis and there's Taylor and they won and Andy's down playing it. But nah, that 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 was weak. Yeah. That was weak. I, I agree. I agree. That, that was a bull job move. Um but he is a superstar and, and when the <laughs> when the game was on the line, he showed up and showed out. And then you look on the other side of the ball for Kansas City. There's a lot of guys that played really, really well. Hell, some of their guys played their best best ball on, on Super Bowl Day. Or Super Bowl night, but but when you look at it, when it mattered the most, in a handful of critical moments in that game, Chris Jones just wrecked what San Antonio, what uh, San Francisco wanted to do, and and never more apparent than than the the Brock Purdy throwaway on third and goal when when Jawan Jennings is coming wide open for a touchdown that would have changed that game significantly. Or Debo when Debo got behind them yep. the defense. Yep. And he, he what, was that a, Chris too? Yeah, that okay. was that yep. pass rush yep. he had where he hit him yep. and he couldn't step into uh, step yep. through and he threw that, it. That that is exactly what I'm talking about. When you get to that level, when you get to the Elite Eight, when you get to the final four, you're just not gonna compete unless you've got two or three dudes that are just game changers. It was, that that can wreck shop on either side of the football. It was ninety one and ninety five. It was 91, yep. Armstead, and 95 where it's just like, now obviously, a running game, you know the, the Texans, you know, they struggle there. But it was like Chris Jones and Armstead, they don't have a dude like that. Like, you know, you, you, listen, Will Anderson is not, obviously not Nick Bosa, but, you know, if you got Grenard and sure, Anderson, sure. you're like, you can, you can feel like you got something off the edge. They don't. Like they didn't have nothing up front because Chris Jones and Armstead just wrecked the run game when they needed to, and then that interior pressure, which helped the outside guys. Those that that position and those two dudes really jumped out to me. Like, and boy, they just like Malik Collins is 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 a good player, a good rotational piece. I like Ridgeway. I like they improved, but they don't have just a. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ruin the play. 
Like an yeah. Armstead and Chris Jones from the middle just had a couple of moments where they just absolutely ruined the play. Someone texted in, you all are either hungover or still a little drunk. Texans got no shot to beat Pat. I'm just, listen, I'm not I'm not telling you they, first off, I disagree. I, 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 I and, and I'll steal it from you. I wholeheartedly disagree. Because, <laughs> th- listen, Tyler, if Brock Purdy can get the 49ers in position to win a game. Now, some of it was the defense of the Niners, and, and listen, but the, the Niners' defense isn't, isn't great. There are some areas of the Texans' defense you can look at, particularly their secondary, and say, I, I take that secondary over them. Like, I, like the, the Texans' defense is, is, a, is a pretty good defense. But if Brock Purdy can get them there with Debo Samuel having three catches for 33 yards, with, with George Kittle have two catches for four yards? With Brandon Ayuk have three catches for 49 yards? Like, Debo had 11 targets. He caught three balls. They, I mean, they didn't. They were non-factors. These are, these are the mutants that he's gotten to play with. Yep. And he had them in position. He kept, kept having the lead. They lose, they, they lose the lead off the off the the, uh, the fumble punt. He comes right back and gets a touchdown. His kicker misses the extra point. The Chiefs tie it. He comes right back and gives him the lead. The Chiefs tie it in overtime. He comes right. If Brock can, can do it without his best players yes. around so him. You're telling me there's a chance. And his best player he was throwing the ball to in the game outside of Christian McCaffrey was, uh, was Jennings. <laughs> right? Yep. I believe C.J. Stroud can be in that ball game. I think Dalton Schultz can give you two for four. I, 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 like I think it. So I, I'm not saying that that they are they would win those games. But watching that game, you would have thought, all right, man, if, for the for the Niners to be in this game, Brock Purdy had to have his, his yeah. big play guys go off. That didn't happen. I'm sorry. I looked at that and I thought, well, yeah, CJ, they they could play in this game. Absolutely. I, look, I, I I mean, now, I say that believing that Nick Casario and D'Amico are going to go to work because um, I'm I'm on record. I, I could see them missing the playoffs if they, if they don't sign the right guys. And I don't give a damn how many supporting cast you sign. I'm talking about game changers, difference makers. If they don't change those guys, I could see them backsliding and not making the playoffs. But – I got to believe right now. I'm going to believe that D'Amico Ryan's is is watching the same things you and I just just talked about and watched, and knows this team is that close. You go out and sign the right two or three dudes. Chris Jones is probably available. Hey man, well that that'd be a good start. But <laughs> but I mean, you go out and sign the right two or three dudes, and and I don't I don't have a problem at all. now whether they're going to beat Pat Mahomes or not. I have no idea. But but be in a ball game where they're a it's a field goal either way. And it's a four quarter ball game where you got a shot. Yeah, I could see the Texans being there in a playoff situation. Absolutely. Yeah, th- that game. Watching that game, you saw. Yeah, I don't know. They would beat these teams, but they could. They could play with those teams. 